football going, everybody? It was going on. So I'm a light sleeper. And, of course, my three-year-old daughter turned into a ninja and decided to crawl in bed with me. So it's like 4, 4.35 in the morning. So um, when you can't sleep, what we do? We start messing our phones and our Apex. But I want to give a uh, little tutorial on if you don't know how to add photos to your fusion um to your apex fusion uh, dashboard and add multiple photos in fact and make a nice little slideshow it's, uh, pretty easy um and uh i got the information actually from somebody that was on this page that offered some great information on how to do it and i just started playing with it some more and was able to uh, perfect that method so um disclaimer you hear smoke alarm going off in the back batteries low um disregard it when my house was built i think my contractor was a practical joker because he put that freaking smoke detector in the uttermost parts i think it's uh, you're going to need a space shuttle just to get up there to change that battery. So it may irritate some people. I'm kind of used to it now. But let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is you want to open up your Fusion. Um, well, let me just back up. Um, you should have a location where you have your, your photos. You know, we in this hobby take photos of our tanks and different things. I have it in my iPhone XX Max little folder apex stuff um things that i've seen that's pretty cool ideas um pictures of my tank i have two tanks of a 25 gallon actually a fluball m60 in the bedroom it's a 25 gallon display five gallon in the back it's all in one um i built the board underneath it it's got the apex classic on there eb8 um, just one module, a Wi-Fi extender, and then I use my wife, my daughter's, um, one of their old Kindles, and uh, my plan is to, you know, I got just actually just got a high door ATO um, that I'm gonna add on here probably today, and then you know get those little uh, those wire extenders to make it a little cleaner on that power brick. Um, and then my other tank, which will have, I have a 125 downstairs that we as a family maintain. My daughters are in it. They do water changes. We have fun. And my goal is to uh, build another Apex cabinet for that and add the dust and all that other good stuff. So what we're going to do first, like I said, you know, make sure you got what photos you want to do on there. Um, you're going to go to your Apex Fusion, of course, log on. Um, and then you go down here, if you don't know already, and you click the little icon at the bottom, and you come to this page. So you have several sections you got to fill out, what you're going to name the photo. You want to always change it to View. All right, that's what I found. You'll burn into problems if it's anything else. Now, the key is to what URL you want to put in it. You need to put in a uh, publicly accessed photo, um, I guess, access point. Facebook won't work. Um, some people use Flickr. Um, if you want to drop some coin, you can go ahead and use Photo Bucket. But most people use Dropbox. But here's the key. You cannot do it if you are working out of the Dropbox app. So you need to be working from a web browser. Um, just type in www.dropbox.com. And if you have a Dropbox account where all your photos is, what I did is I just took, um, did that and created a shortcut, added it to my home screen. Um, and then my home screen, um, it goes to the photos that I have. I have several fold folders in my Dropbox. So one is read photos. And it's just photos that I added onto here. So to add photos to uh, your Fusion, of course, you know, you got to go through this URL 
um, with Dropbox. So you see three dots on your photo. You can either hit those three dots or highlight the photo and hit the three dots here at the top. Um, you want to hit download. And of course, you're gonna, this screen is going to pop up. Hit view. Now at the top, you're just going to highlight, copy, and paste that URL. Um, and then go back to your Fusion. Yeah, come on now. You recognize my face. So this one I'm going to name um, Bedroom Reef Tank. Again, make sure the level is view. And then I'm going to post that URL on there. That's what was taught to me. You'll see it there um, on the configuration. And if you want to verify that it's on your dashboard, go back and there you go. Boom. Now, here's the cool part about this. You can add numerous photos and make it into a slideshow if you don't know already. So, again, go back to um, the media configuration. You're not going to view, edit, or remove. No, you're going to go back up and you're going to add again. So, I'll go back to my Dropbox account through the web browser. And let's just say the next photo I want to add is my bedroom, which let's say is, I got it labeled backwards, but it's bedroom utopia. So again, click those three dots, hit download, you know, go to view, copy that URL, go back to Fusion. You recognize my face, stop playing. And again, I'm going to title it Bedroom Utopia. Change it to a view. And then, of course, paste that URL. So now I have two photos, the Bedroom Reef Tank and the Bedroom Utopia. So let's add several other photos. Um, again, open it back up. Go back to... Um, so I got these two photos. Um, let's say I want to add the blacked out photo. Okay, so again, same motions. Copy that URL. Go back to Fusion. And I'm going to put blacked out. Reef bedroom. Or bedroom reef. Oh, excuse me. Change it to view. And paste that URL. So now I got three photos. I think I'm at I'm at about four or five just for the effect of it. So again, it's just repeating that process over and over. Um so I got those three photos at the top. Let's say I got to actually on on the, in, on this tank. I have a refugium in the second chamber of that. Um, initially, I had that JBL magnetic light on there, and it worked very well at first. Um, but when I moved the tank over, and it worked, it grew Chato very good. Um, but when I moved my tank over to the window get natural sunlight it took off and i had this little bracement so that it wouldn't escape and clog up the skimmer but skimmer somewhere else now and that thing is filled with chato it keeps my nitrates down for smaller tanks but yeah i copy that one again and i'm gonna name that one uh refugium before change it to view and I'm going to add this last one refugium after change it to view Go back to 
the drop box. And here it is. Come on. Download. It's gonna save you. Copy it. And that that's an old photo. It's way bigger than that now. So when we get back, paste the URL there. So I got five photos right now under media configuration. So when you go back to your Apex Fusion, you got you a little slideshow. And it just swaps between each photo. Um, you can control the speed. I mean, it doesn't make that much of a difference. You want it to go slow, fast, you know, in a hurry. Or you just want to have a stationary. Um, I have not been able to post any video clips um through dropbox because even though they're you know i think the most is like a two second video clip which really doesn't do any effect whatsoever um but if you got anything way of adding to it you know we had to learn from each other i didn't know nothing about apex until you know i wanted one i needed one i don't think anybody in the reef tank hobby should run a tank without it but I went rich, so it took me some while to piece together two separate tanks um, worth of equipment. But it worked out. But yeah, that's the little tutorial um, I wanted to put up there. Um, it's pretty cool. And as long as these photos remain on your Dropbox and you have it on that public portion which is through your URL because you use your URL was through um, Safari. You're not using it through your app because if you do it through the app, you're going to see that the URL is different and it'll show the name, but it won't have no photo on there. Um, so make sure you use it through that Dropbox. So shout out to uh, homeboy that showed me how to do that. But, um, if you don't know, hopefully this helps somebody, you know, add to it. If you got any other suggestions, I'm here to learn just as much as I'm trying to spread any knowledge that may be right. All right. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm still trying to understand how to set alarms and write code. And uh, once I get the big tank set up, I think we'll be a little bit better. Um but uh thanks a lot everybody man i hope i helped somebody out all right i'm gonna holla at y'all peace